Senator Menendez. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Dr. Chu, congratulations on your nomination. I regret we didn't have a chance to speak, but let me ask you a couple of key questions to me. In a previous answer, um, you gave to Senator Burr about the national uh, transmission, uh, interest uh, electric transmission corridor. You said there may be opposition, but a national grid is in the national uh, interest, and I don't think anybody disputes that. But the Department of Energy has designated the entire state of New Jersey as part of a national interest uh, electricity transmission corridor. Many of us believe that designation was a result of a uh, subpar congestion study. Uh, and on the West Coast, <coughs> the Department of Energy produced a transmission line by transmission line study of congestion, which resulted in a narrow, more targeted <coughs> transmission corridor, achieving the goals but doing it in a way that uh, was less uh, of an impact. The Mid-Atlantic Transmission Corridor covers all or part of eight states and the District of Columbia and has been characterized by many state regulators as setting up a superhighway to coal electricity. My question is, as the Department of Energy updates their congestion studies, will you ensure that they are accurate on a transmission line by transmission line basis, one? And two, if the study shows it is appropriate, will you be willing to narrow the Mid-Atlantic Transmission Corridor? Um, well, I'm not familiar with the details of that, but having lived in New Jersey for nine years while I was working at Bell Laboratories, uh, I recognize that New Jersey is uh, a bigger state than some other people think. Uh, and, uh, and in answer specifically to your question about um, as we update uh, the analysis, would I review that and be willing, based on the facts uh, that we learned, to narrow it? Absolutely. It's all about uh, learning more about the details of these things. And, and I appreciate forward. that. Would, would you do what, the West, what was done on the West Coast? I don't understand why there would be a difference of a transmission line by trans transmission line congestion study. Yeah, I, I don't know the details of that. and. Uh, just listening to you, it seems to be Well, if different. you could review that and get back yes. to us, that's, that's really critical to, Absolutely. to know. Uh, secondly, uh, uh, we've spo I've sponsored legislation. We are proud in New Jersey of being the second largest producer of solar-related uh, equipment. Uh, and uh, one of our challenges is uh, getting states to adopt net metering and interconnection standards so that we can integrate solar energy into the grid. Uh, and we believe that if such legislation were enacted into law, a significant market barrier uh, to distributed uh, generated solar generation would finally be gone. Is that something that you support in terms of net metering and interconnection standards? Well, uh, yes. In fact, uh, as you may or may not know, um, the National Academy of Sciences and Engineering has had a study, an ongoing study, a very distinguished panel of people chaired by Harold Shapiro, the former president of Princeton. And uh, I'm on that panel uh, over the last two years, and I specifically uh, put, there's six sub-panels, I specifically put myself on the transmission and distribution sub-panel because it is, I saw it as vital that we get it right as we modernize uh, the system. Um, and the, the so-called smart grid and the metering and all these things that you speak of, uh, uh, it, is a very important part of the strategy, the overall strategy, to uh, a sustainable energy future. And then finally, um, Senator Sanders and I, uh, working with others here, uh, authored and, and is into law the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Block Grant Program in the 2007 Energy Bill. This is, try to, this is to try to drive at municipal uh, and county levels, uh, a lot of the efforts, it was the number one priority of the U.S. Conference of Mayors to try to get uh, a significant uh, level of uh, work uh, in energy infrastructure and the inc increasing the use of renewables at that level, saving money for the local property taxpayers, uh, creating less demand, and obviously having a positive impact on the environment. I certainly hope 
you will look at that as we, uh, we've talked to the President-elect on the stimulus package. I know there's some elements of that in there. I hope it is something that you will see uh, in your new role as something to be an advocate of at the end of the day. So I would certainly promise to look into that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.